Um, this video to show you is that um, if you after a crash or, or for any reason one of the motor uh, is not running and you have all three motors are running, um, the the one way to do a full um, analysis and test by by you is to take out the uh, the pin connection on the back motors, the one that doesn't move on the arms. Um, and to remove the arms, it's real simple. You need to have an Allen wrench. Um, you can hold on to one side, and then um, on the other end of it, it's, it's just a, basically it's just a nut. So you need an Allen wrench and a, a needle nose pliers. So you can open up the two screw. That's all you need to do is open up the two screw, and then your your arms comes t comes off. Now um, do be careful with the wire. So when you do that, you want to unplug the wire first. Uh, assuming this is a bad motor side, uh, out of the three, which is good, the good one on the three. Now you uh, take out the, the pin connections of the bad motors. So there are three pins, black, yellow, and red. So you want to take out the, the arms, removing the two screw, and holding uh, the nuts on the bottoms. So once you remove it, it'll be like this. So all you need to do is unplug one of the other three, which, whichever you want, you can unplug it to do the test. So we want to test out, make sure that uh, it's a motor problem or it's a speed control problems. So right now, you can plug into the, make sure your connection is, is, is uh, properly placed, okay? Because your first one to the corner is always uh, the red one, the most outside edge. And then the, the middle one is always the black one, the black connectors. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's the yellow connectors. So it's all it's also color coded on the uh, on the boards. You can see, and then the and then the black one is also color co coded on the, on the on the speed control board. Your speed control board is a, is the most the bottom ones, the lowest one. So now by doing this way, you can able to do the test of which motors that goes bad. Now now before you do the test, before you apply on it, you make sure you have the rotor on top of this. Do not apply power without any uh, caps or without any of the, the, the blade on it because it'll, you'll burn the, 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 the motors that way. So make sure you put all four with the rotor on it first before you apply any power to do the test. So uh, again, uh, the reason we're doing like this is to test out is, is it the bad motors or is it the bad speed control. So after you do the the test and then you find out that if this motor still not turning after you replacing it with the new uh, locations then that means this motor is bad. So now you don't have to worry about the, the speed control boards. Now if you take this motor out and you plug into the new locations and it works. So that means now your, your, your damaged motor that you are assuming is it, it, not damaged. It's your speed control one of the quadrants on the speed control is damaged. That's how you differentiate the difference of uh, which one is bad, the speed control or the motors.